my question is about milk. Uh, that uh, milk is coming from the cows, which is a very torturous way. How old are you? <laughs> I'm 32. Oh, too late for milk drinking. Uh, Sadhguru, I didn't understand. <laughs> then you can drink milk. <laughs> so, uh, uh, the cows are getting tortured just to get the milk from them and it's uh, about their reproductive system and we are dependent on the milk which should be given to the uh, her children and uh, this has been happening since ages and also in the yogic system and in the temples uh, the uh, milk is getting used for diyas and also for the linga so I'm not sure how good it is I sometimes okay. I feel very bad about I it. I don't know where you saw diyas burning with milk <laughs> anyway. Made from the ghee, <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. made from the milk. So uh, it's better to slaughter them not torture them right? Well, it's better to leave them the way they want oh, to Oh, that will not happen. The only other option is slaughter them. So we think it's better to milk them rather than slaughter them. We think it's better to put them to work than to slaughter them. This is my understanding of cruelty. If your understanding of cruelty is milking the cow is very cruel, so we will kill the cow and eat it up. That's exactly what will happen. Whatever your intentions are, that is exactly what will happen. Yes or no, that's all that will happen. So if you think that is more humane, just to slaughter them and eat them up, that's not my understanding of cruelty. My understanding of cruelty and compassion is, first thing is right to life. There is cruelty everywhere. You were sent to school, it's a bloody cruel place <laughs> Yes, it's very cruel on a child. But can you leave the children on the street and say, don't go to school? We have to put them through that cruelty because otherwise they will go and kill each other on the street. Yes, so many negative things will happen in their life. They will become… poverty will take over, crime will take over, other kinds of things will take over. So it's better put them through twelve, fifteen years of cruelty to avoid a lifelong suffering, yes or no? We know certain things are cruel, but we still do it because the alternative is worse. First and foremost thing for every life is right to life. After that, whether it should be milked or not, whether it should be worked or not, I'm sure the next thing is the bulls are drawing the cart. Some people are coming, activists are coming and saying, they're doing very cruel, these bulls are being treated very cruel, they're drawing the cart, flat ground, put ball bearings, easy, brakes and everything so that it's not very hard on him, but he needs to work. If he doesn't work, we will just keep him and you will feed him, such a thing won't work. So we will leave him. Where will he go? Straight to the slaughterhouse, straight. Because they want him to go quick before he loses his muscle. That's what will happen to him. We want him to live, that's why we're making him work. If it's a male, we make him work that way. If it's a female, we milk her, it's good. Otherwise, you will not give them any chance to live. Anything that's not useful to human societies, have we allowed them to live? Are we in that kind of condition? Are you in that state of compa compassion that things which are not useful to you, every day you will feed it with your money and keep it alive? Are you in that state of compassion, I'm asking you? If you were like that, fantastic, I would bow down at your feet, okay? If you were like that. You are not like that, I know. This is… <laughs> I know you're not like that. I know who I'm dealing with <laughs> So this kind of rub <coughs> rubbish keeps coming up, 
This misplaced compassion without knowing the realities of how the world works. Somebody is complaining about this, if the dogs are tied up, they said, cruelty to the dogs, and suddenly they would write blogs about us. Okay, if I let them loose, this happened. Let this happen, in Bangalore one case happened, in Madurai or someplace another happened. Packs of dogs, they attacked school-going children and ate them up. Because dog is a carnivorous animal, if they are there in packs, they will get their instinct back. Only when they are separate individual, they don't have that sense. But if ten, fifteen of them are together and roaming around, when they see a child below four feet of height, they will go for him. So, school-going children were attacked and eaten up. Now what do you do? Now municipality comes and just culls all of them. Isn't it better that they're tied? Hello? We leave them when nobody is there. When people are there, we tie them up or put them in a box. Otherwise, the only way is to cull them. You will say, we put him to sleep. Generally, people say, we put him to sleep. No, you just killed him. Hello? You just killed him and you want to satisfy yourself, I put him to sleep, send him to heaven, whatever nonsense. Why don't we send you also? <laughs> this may sound cruel and absurd, but I want you to know this, every other life values its life as much as you value yours. Even an ant doesn't want to die, yes or no? You think an ant is wanting to die because it's a small life? No, even an ant is, sees its life is as precious as yours. So if you don't milk the cow, it will go straight to the slaughterhouse. That's where it's going. That's where they're all going. Those who don't have milk, those who don't have the ability to work, that's where they're going. So, 